my name is Tanya Evans and uh, today I'm going to take you on a tour of WorkPro's reference checking service. So the first thing that you need to do before you can start sending references to your candidates and their referees is you need to log into the WorkPro platform and you need to configure your environment. So just logging in. and selecting request and you'll see here reference check. So if uh, you're not configured for uh, reference checking what you'll see is this little message here inviting you to request a phone call. So once that phone call has been made um, you'll be provided with some user guides and some details around how you configure your referee account within WorkPro that basically means that you're uploading your logo, you're uploading your company information and you're establishing the uh, questionnaires that you'd like to use within WorkPro. So once that's been configured, um, you'll receive a phone call or an email alert from WorkPro inviting you to now uh, use the reference checking service if and when you need to. So just logging out and I'll now log in as the uh, account administrator and ready to send a reference check. So logging in. selecting request and sending a request to a new candidate. You're entering the candidate's name, their email address and coming over here to reference checks. You're requesting a reference check, deciding how many referees that you'd like the candidate to provide. You can see that here there is a limit of three referees per candidate and you actually pay per candidate, not per referee. So selecting that, um, entering the job title uh, if, they have, if they have one and which questionnaire um, that, they, uh, that each referee needs to complete. So you can see here, there's just a basic, basic referee questionnaire here. Um, you, once you've set those, um, those questionnaires up within referee, all of those will be displayed in this drop-down window. So once you've populated that, you're simply sending a request to the candidate. Uh, I just wanna make a note here that once the candidate has been sent the request, WorkPro takes over and uh, they're reminding the candidate if that task remains outstanding. So now I'm just going to log in as the candidate. And if they have a candidate profile already within WorkPro, they're logging in or they're signing up. For the purposes of this tour, I'm just going to quickly log into the platform. In the email invitation that the candidate receives is a live link and also a single use token. So they'll enter that token here. In this case, I'll just resume my session and I have a background check ready here. So you can see here, there's a reference check for the candidate to complete. They can complete a uh, reference check on any device. I'm on a PC here. They're simply entering the information that this is all being pre-populated, but they're entering their information here for the referee and they're declaring that they understand the terms and conditions and that the referee will be invited to um, provide a reference for them. You'll note here that there's a requirement for the person to enter the type of reference, whether it's work or personal, the name of the person, the company, the relationship that they had with that person, the, per the referee's email address and phone number. So it's really important that the referee, or sorry, that the candidate um, asks the referee or uh, calls the referee um, and lets them know that they're, uh, they're at, they are a referee and that they may be contacted and making sure and confirming that they have the correct phone number and uh, email address. If I wanted to add a further referee's information, I would populate that here. So just closing out that window, once the reference check has been submitted, that information will be stored as a background check and completed here with the progress, uh, with the status of in progress. So once the candidates completed their requirement, uh, you'll receive an email alert inviting you back into the platform and determining whether you would like to send the referee at a time that suits you. So logging back into the platform and you can see here that there's several statuses. In the case of um, once you've sent the reference request to the candidate, you'll see a status of 
waiting for the candidate. Uh, once the candidate's completed their requirement, you'll get a status of please review. So you'd open up this window. You can see the information here. You can see the referee's information and you're making a decision about whether you would like to send this reference check to this referee. The referee receives an email invitation, um, a single link. They click on that link. Um, they don't have to sign up anywhere. They're simply entering their reference information or completing the questionnaire on behalf of that candidate. They can decline the reference, in which case you'll receive an email um, alert logging back into the WorkPro platform and you'll see um, that a check has been declined or a reference check has been declined. You'll open up that window and you'll see why the refer reference or the referee uh, declined the reference. You can make a decision about whether you would like to finalise the check. There is no charge if a, uh, if a, a person has been sent uh, one reference and uh, they've declined it or you can decide that you'd like to send a new request to the candidate asking them for another referee or for them to log in and provide another referee. So once you've submitted that, um, that request to the referee, they will go on to complete that questionnaire. And once that's been completed, it will, log, uh, it will come back into WorkPro as a check result of finalised. So once the, uh, the check's been finalised, date, timestamp, you'll see here the referee's name, the status is now complete, and you're welcomed into viewing the certificate. It has your information here. It has your brand here. I'd just like to make a, a, a note that um, once the referee has been, com uh, been completed, uh, you are charged monthly in arrears for the checks that you've completed in that month um, on reconciliation uh, on 28 day terms. Um, if you would like to utilise the service, I would welcome the opportunity to support you uh, with this compliance check. Uh, please get in, touch, uh, get in contact with either your account manager or call WorkPro on plus 61 1300 975 776 or if you're in Australia 1300 975 776 or please email us at info at workpro.com.au. Thanks so much for joining me today and I will see you next time.